It was Swiss hikers who carried the first aluminum drink bottles in the early part of the 20th century. Today's lightweight bottles can be reused endlessly, meaning less waste in landfills. They can also be recycled, so making one is not a wasted effort. Some of those first trailblazing bottles still survive today, reminding us that this kind of container is made to last. Today's bottle starts with an aluminum puck, two and three quarter inches in diameter. The puck travels down a chute into a punch press. It uses 660 tons of force to stretch that little puck into a long cylinder with a bottom. A blade chops the open end down to the correct size, and then a tool pushes it onto a conveyor that sends it down the line. The aluminum cylinder lands on a wheel, which relays it to the next station. There, machinery moves the cylinder's open end into position for tools to squeeze it into a bottleneck. The tools pinch the metal a total of 26 times to draw the open end down to half its original diameter. This gentle forming process results in less stress on the metal. The last tool presses a threaded ring into the inside of the bottle for screwing on the cap. The process leaves the threaded neck a lot thicker than the rest of the bottle, so it will hold up to heavy usage. Now the bottles head into a wash station. They get a really good scrubbing to remove the lubricating oil from the forming process. They then travel through a dryer, and after a few minutes, they emerge clean and ready for the next operation. The interior wall of the aluminum drink bottle is about to be lined with a micro-thin high-tech polymer. This revolving device picks up each bottle using suction and delivers it to an individual sprayer. The spray nozzle coats the inside of this container with the polymer. The liner has been specially formulated to be chemically inert, which means it won't absorb or transfer flavors. At this point, the coating is powdery, and you can wipe it off with your finger. But that's just temporary. As they bake it, the powder will solidify and bond completely to the inside of the bottle. The bottles move through an oven that's heated to 356 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 minutes. The liner doesn't add much weight to the bottle. Here they weigh one before lining and after, and the difference is just a few grams. Now the bottles spin by a gauntlet of spray guns for an even coat of paint. Like the inner liner, this outer veneer will need to be baked on. When it dries, the paint takes on a glossy look. An automated squeegee silk screens designs onto the bottles. A jet of air dries the ink between printings as they build up the artwork using different colors. And now it's time to screw on the cap. As she caps the bottle, this worker performs a final inspection of the product. From a small aluminum puck to a handy drink bottle, incredibly, this transformation has taken just three hours. And in its various styles, 
This reusable bottle is sure to make a lasting impression.